Yeah, it was weird. Um, you kind of that's why you have an agent. You kind of let them handle most of it. And there's so much unknown, and then it hits, and then you just kind of lean on him to to do his job. Um, and you know, my wife and I sat down at the beginning of this, and basically we're like, we want to be somewhere we want to live. We want to be somewhere with good co- coaches, system, locker room. Um, and thinking about everything we wanted, you know, Minnesota had it all. Um, we love it here, and this is kind of the past four years kind of turned into home for us. Um, it's where we got our first home, um, and we love it here. It's I love the old line room. I've talked to you guys enough about how much those guys mean to me. Um, the new coaching staff, the new culture, it's always been a great locker room. So um, we're both really happy to be back, and I don't think it – you really feel it until you come back in the building today with – you're like, you know, there's a chance I wasn't here. Like, these guys were all going to be starting and I wasn't going to be here. And it just reassures you made the right decision and, and I'm happy to be back and see all the guys and the coaches and get back to work. Yeah, it was it was kind of up in the air. Um, but – when it came down to it, it was, like I said, this checked every box we had, and we've loved it here the last four years, and it's only getting better. So um, got the offer, and like, let's, let's do it. Let's run it back. So um, we're both really excited, and it's cool to see excitement from the teammates and the coaches when it happened and seeing them all today congratulating me. So it's been, it's been good. Yeah. Yeah. So I was on the phone with Brian a lot throughout the process and he was trying to stay as neutral. Like I want what's best for you, but I want you back kind of thing. So they were all fired up. I was in Arizona um, working out for two months with Blake and Ezra um, and a few other guys. And so they were all excited for me too. Cause I was kind of just like working out, going about my daily business throughout free agency, letting my agent handle it. And um, so once I could finally tell them they were all, they all just got calls from the coaches and, um, like I said, just reassured that we made the right decision and how happy we are to be back. So. But your health is a concern for the offensive line as a whole, of course, going into this year. But when you look at experience and where you're at, is everybody's healthy? Is it a good offensive line if you play down here? Yeah, absolutely. And we have 11 of 12 guys back. You know, Kyle Hinton took a good opportunity in Atlanta, and we know how good Kyle is, and we wish him nothing but the best. But – to have 11 of us back, that's pretty unique. Um, and it's as close of a position group of, as I've ever been around. I think guys in other positions on this team would tell you that. Um, we do a lot of stuff together. We go on trips. We hang out at the facility, outside of the facility. Um, and so it's just it's good to have that continuity. Um, we have a lot of fun together, and we like to work hard, and we're all competitive guys. So it's just it's a great unit, and we have both our coaches back. Which is great. By not getting the fifth year option, does that actually work out better in the long run? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's I'm, I'm back regardless. <laughs> um, but like that's the business side of stuff that you just you worry about your day to day, and and you have people that figure the rest of that stuff out. So I'm just kind of handling what I need to handle. Are you are you fully really past the backfield that you had here? Yeah, yeah, that was not fun. Um, but I'm feeling great doing everything, full participant everything. Um, and once once the football ends, you have a few months off to just work out and get your body right. Everything starts to feel a lot better. So coming in the building, working out for the first time today, feel great. Uh, everyone does. So it's, it's good to get back into this competitive team setting where you're working out and pushing each other and talking football. We had about an hour and a half of meetings. Um, so, yeah, no, feeling great. Yeah, you know, it's it's I, I was, but it's just different when you have six. I've never had six weeks off and come back and played, so that was that was an adjustment. Um, but I was happy to be out there. Playoff football is what you play for, so uh, unfortunately we didn't get it done. But that was just kind of weird timing with everything. But glad I could come back for it. How, how did you assess your last season when you had a chance to kind of look back? Because it seemed like you know, there was some ups and downs in twenty one, and last year was a more consistent. Yeah, I think I say it a lot, but the more reps you have as an O-line together, the better you are. And that was now my third year with Ezra and fourth year with Brian, second year with CD, and Ed played every snap all year. 
So when you just you know the guys you're playing next to, you know what they're good at, and just I don't know. It's experience matters a lot, especially in the offensive line position. And the more experience I had, the new coaches were awesome. The new system was awesome. It was kind of just like the perfect mix. Uh, and I felt like I got a fresh start with the new coaches last year. And I felt like we had a good year up front. And we can even build off of that and have a better year this year. What's a good example here about how your skills maybe fit the new system? Uh, I think there's a little more freedom. Um, the coaches give a lot of ownership. I mean, Chris Cooper, our line coach, he played eight years. He gets it. Um, he's been in our shoes at a very high level. So he's not necessarily hammering, you have to do this or that, this way or that way. Uh, he understands that there's going to be – it's an NFL game. There might be some NFL muddy pockets or some dirty runs where we give the running back this much room, and it's an explosive run. So just his understanding of the game and the way he coaches it and the, the way our room kind of responded to him and gelled with him, uh, it was just – it was a great combination. Yeah, what's an example of freedom where there was five guys all working uh, he, he coaches team protection a lot. You know, there's usually four guys rushing the quarterback, and there's five of us. So it's a lot of it is, all right, someone's uncovered. How can we help each other? Um, and that's you, you play as a unit, and that's why I talked about those reps are so important because it's, all right, if, if I'm uncovered, who can I help? And if I go take his guy, who can he then go help? And it's limiting the one-on-one -on -one opportunities and, and playing together as a unit. And so – it was just that togetherness, that collectiveness of us going out there and saying, like, we are one. Like, all five of us, we're only as good as all five of us are together. So uh, that's kind of how it is. And then in the run game as well, it's we all need to be on the same page and let's do this together. And how was it done before? Uh, it was similar, but I think the team protection aspect was, was a big part of it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah. Kevin's talked a lot this offseason about how much the base offense will take a jump in the second unit. I mean, you guys know the language, and I think how defenses will defend. Just how, how comfortable are you that the offense will be even better? In yeah, we're returning a lot of guys, which is big. Um, and then if you look at this point last year, we were just meeting people. We were meeting coaches. We were learning a new system, installing new plays, different terminology. And so now that with all these guys returning in the same system, the same play caller, it's just, all right, now how can we get that much better? How can we look at the finer details more? And there's not so much learning, uh, like new learning, in terms of, all right, like let's just dial in on this a little bit more. What can we get? How can we get more out of the run game, the, the pass protection? And just it's more experience, like I talked about. Last one for Garrett. Can you put a value on having a Kirk Cousins Yeah, he makes he makes this whole thing go around. Um, Coach Cooper talks all the time. He's like, because a lot of us, a lot of the alignment, we were drafted here. We played with Kirk our whole career. He's like, you don't know what it's like to not have a quarterback. And he's been through it. He's been on a lot of teams, and he's seen five quarterbacks in five years, kind of thing. And he's like, you guys don't know how good you have it with how talented he is. Not only that, but how dialed he is, how smart he is, getting us all together, getting the play called, knowing what everyone's doing. And you kind of take it for granted because it's what you're used to. But then in the offseason, you're training with guys. You hear about how other quarterbacks go up about their business, and you're like, that's not – I mean, he's the first person, and he's the last person out. He's got so much on his plate, and he handles it with such class, so, such professionalism. Uh, and I love playing with him. He's the best. I can't, can't say enough good things about that guy. So we're lucky to have him. And we get along with him great. He loves the old line. Um, so we had a lot of good times together.